Just three miles separate the Bearcats and the Musketeers, and at this time of year, it gets tense. Nine on your side's Allie Kramer, feeling it firsthand outside Fifth Third Arena. We've had to separate her and our photographer. We're <laughs> on opposite <laughs> Julie, sides of this. You two have got we to work drove together. Separately today, Julie, because uh, we needed a little space and we've been heckling each other all morning about it. And photographer Dwayne Slavy, who's behind the camera right now, says, What you don't know is I already have my blue body paint on underneath this. It is too early for that because the game is not until tomorrow afternoon. But you know what? It wasn't too early for the teams and the fans to get together at Skyline Chili, have a little uh, pregame meal perhaps just last night. Of course, it's kind of that friendly rivalry feeling. Yeah, that's all going to change. It will not feel like that on Saturday afternoon on the hardwood. You know that those students and the alumni, they're going to be up early. They're going to be in line to get some of the very best seats. You know, Xavier's actually on a pretty good winning streak, winning four of the last five matchups. But you see winning just two years ago. Oh, it really has no bearing on what happens this year. They've got new teams, new players, and of course, a new arena. UC head coach Mick Cronin says they'll shut out all the noise surrounding the game and just try to focus on winning it. You, you got to focus on what's going on between the lines because that's what decides the game. The other stuff's ancillary. It really is. Two years ago, we out-rebounded them. We won handily. Last year, they out-rebounded us bad. They won handily regardless of what was going on in social media or the stands or where the game was played. All right, so it's time to dig out, you know, your old jerseys, maybe a Kenyon Martin jersey. I'm pretty sure that's the oldest one that I still have, but you still also have time to get tickets to the game. I've been looking this morning. The cheapest ones I can find for standing room, only 55 bucks. Guys, the game tomorrow at 2. Reporting live this morning from the new Fifth Third Arena, Allie Kramer, not on your side.